Next, I caught up with a Texas A&M difference maker for a one-on-one -on -one conversation. Today, that's athletic director Ross Bjork. Ross came to Texas A&M in 2019 after spending seven years as the AD at Ole Miss. He oversees 20 varsity sports and more than 650 student athletes. Conference realignment is not stopping nor slowing down. Where do you see the future of realignment? You know, it's really a, it's a fascinating time in our business when it, when it comes to this, because it, it, it feels like uh, it's about branding, it's about exposure, it's obviously about the money, you know, the, the answer is money. Now what's the question? A lot of times is what happens in, in, in our industry. And so the dynamics of all of that are playing out in, in real time. Obviously we went through conference realignment last summer. We don't necessarily like how it happened here at A&M and within the SEC, but we understand why. Well, now we'll get to the hot topic of NIL. Uh, it is one of the most talked about topics in college athletics right now. A&M is a program called Amplify to help students in this new realm. Can you tell me more about Amplify? So Amplify is really about awareness, education, monitoring. The athletes have to turn their contracts into compliance. They can do all that through our Amplify app. What's really next is where does all this go? That's what everybody's trying to figure out is we're a year into it. What does the next year look like? What does five years look like? I don't necessarily have that crystal ball, but it's here to stay. We embrace it. We want our athletes to kind of achieve their maximum potential, whatever that is, whether that's on the field or whether that's NIL or whether that's academically. We have to embrace all of this. Our donors have embraced it. Our staff has embraced it. The issue with how the law is set up is we can't be involved in facilitating. That's, that's kind of the tough part about this is each state has different laws. So really what's next is uniformity nationwide. So we may need Congress for that. We may need federal legislation for that. But those are the things that we're tracking uh, as we monitor NIL a year into the program. You are a very busy man. We've talked a little bit about this before, just your schedule and how insane it can get. What does Ross Bjork do on a day off? Um, I would say the first thing is I'm a family person. So if I'm not working around Texas A&M, I'm at a kid's soccer game, a basketball game, a football scrimmage, a seven on seven, a football camp. A&M Consolidated is my second, uh, maybe my favorite team um, besides the Aggies because that's where my son will play um, this fall. So I'm going to be around family. I love to work out. I love to, uh, to study college sports, so I'm reading a lot. What excites you about the future of Aggie sports? Having common shared vision about what can happen here, to me, creates the excitement. Our job is to execute on that, but you've got to have the right people. You've got to have the right coaches. You've got to have the right resources. So we're selling a ton of football season tickets, which helps the revenue stream. We're raising money in a capital campaign, the Centennial Campaign, and we're breaking ground as we speak on our athletic facilities. We have these new coaches that are infusing this new energy. We're recruiting at a high level. A&M should win SEC champion. That's our expectation. We're not there yet. We got work to do. We need to be back in the top 10 in the Director's Cup and all those kind of things. So there's work to be done, but the pieces are in place. And now hopefully we can maximize those and put everything together. All right, great. You can watch an extended version of this interview on our website. Ross, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Chelsea.